to take him off this time. Oh, they're just plug him back in again. What if he wakes up and his brain damaged? Would they notice a difference? I'm telling Mum you said that. You want to start doing that? Get rid of all that puppy fat. It's just a baggy jumper. You know, if I'd had my way, I'd have paid for Scott to be flown straight out to this amazing clinic in LA. It's probably where I'm going to go and have all my kids. They do caesareans with a laser. Don't even leave a scar. Cost the earth, but it's worth it if you can get straight back into your crop tops. Donna. You're up early. Why aren't you dressed? Eric, our Diane's home today. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot on. I want that factory back up and running like now. Some of us have more important things to worry about than profitless vanity projects. Have you any idea what kind of gold mine we could be sitting on? <laughs> gold mine? Mm. That swanky place in Bath? Oh, uh, Anna's and Tourists. Did you see what the charge for a consultation fee? No. Nope. <sighs> and the slapped on mileage for house calls. Now, that's before they've even started running up curtains, stuffing designer cushions, and recommending naff but criminally expensive wallpaper. Mm, but you're no Anna. Now, obviously, she knew exactly what she was doing. Did she, heck? Bored housewife persuaded rich husband to set her up in her own business because she happened to know her fan light from her dado reel. Yes, well, sadly, we're lacking a similar amount of capital. Yeah. But we've got us, Eric, and a finer pair of hustlers you couldn't hope to find. It's all bluster, this game. We've just got to convince a bunch of insecure, snobby homeowners that we've got better taste than them, and then charge them whatever comes into our heads for the privilege. Now, I've made a little list. Hi. Hi. You're on your own. The Jew any minute. Just wanted to see you. So why the radio silence? Have you done the dirty deed or not? It's not a joke, Matthew. You bottled it, haven't you? No. Nope. I did it and it was horrible. He'll get over it. No, he won't. You didn't see his face. I just feel sick thinking about it. Oh, don't be silly. It's not the first time he'll have been dumped, and I doubt it'll be the last. You're horrible, do you know that? Still chose me over him, though, didn't you? Yeah, it's all... <laughs> <laughs> On the step. Oh. Hey, attention, head chef, the whoop and chef. <laughs> How's Kelly getting on, then? Still driving a mum mad? No idea. This is junk mail. Hey, top pub chef of the north? It's got you written all over it, this. You could win this. No, what? No, no, that's your plowing and chips brigade. It's nothing to do with me. Hey, hey, no. First prize a week working in the kitchen of James Martin. He's good, he is. He's all right. Yeah, the publicity for you and for the pub. I hate to say this, Marlon, but you are a damn fine cook. You have got as much chance of anybody winning this. Think about it. Top chef of the north. Pub, pub chef, or pub chef. I am cordon bleu. I'm only due to circumstances. Let's get on. Hello. What do you want? To see if you're okay. Worried that I'm bearing up? I can't just switch off my feelings for you. But that's what you want me to do. How do we ever get to this, eh? You're asking me? One minute I'm getting ready to set up a home and a business with someone I love, and the next thing I know, you're finishing it. And you haven't even got a reason. Terry, I've been feeling this way for a long time. I just couldn't figure out a way to tell you. Cutting it a bit fine, aren't you? This is all moving too fast for me. I'm just not ready for this kind of commitment. I just don't know what I've done wrong. You say there's no one else. It's just about us. All the time I've put in working for our future, and you can just throw away in the blink of an eye. 
It wasn't easy. Believe me. I don't think I can believe you ever again. Terry. Yeah, well, I've got to go and sort this mess out with the solicitor. Close the door after you when you leave. Right, it's going to nip off to organise that thing for Terry. What thing? Surprise. So? Oh, no Louise, no Paul, no Diane, no Chas. No surprise for Terry if you don't get any cover. Bingo. No. It'll only be an hour. No, I'm not spending my time off on the cafe. It's serving behind the bar. You know nothing happened between me and Kelly the other night, don't you? Makes no difference to me, pal. I'm starting to laugh. Here we go. Excellent. It's dodged to soak up me hang over. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, we had a bit of a session last night. Not, not together. Slide in my stomach for the next pint. <laughs> So, can I... That's how you see my food, is it? Stodge, to soak up your binge drinking. Unbel... Well, that's the last meal I ever cooked for either of you, so... Enjoy! What's up with them? They don't appreciate the finer things in life, Donna. Like what? Like what? Like a culinary masterpiece that lingers on in the memory long after it's passed over the taste buds. It says steak pie on the menu. <laughs> You know, if I could just find one person, one person who understands what I do. Oh, good luck. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> hey, hey, your other half's been invited to enter a competition. What for? Top pub chef of the north. Marlon, that's fantastic. I'm not a pub chef, though, am I? What are you then? Well, I am a chef who happens to work in a pub. So. Right, better be off. Another word to Louise. Bob, I said no. Oh, I'll be back before you know it. Bob! Is he bringing them chips or what? <sighs> I can understand why some people don't bother with the reversal, you know. It's going to take me a long time to get used to feeling normal again. You've got all the time in the world, look. I haven't half missed you. I don't know about all the time in the world, though. Why? I need the loo. Diane! Oh, oh, come on. Great to see you both. No time for hugs. <laughs> well, come on then. Get the kettle on. He's going to come in yet. Born day of jolly good fellows. Born day of jolly good fellows. Born day of jolly good fellows. Where, where, where's Louise? What the hell's going on? Oh, I thought we'd celebrate you getting the B&B &B at long last. Yeah. Oh. Is everything all right, love? Terry? For God's sake, just get out. Go on, I didn't ask any of you around here. Just flame me well, get out! I, I think I forgot me car. No, 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 Betty. What's happened? <coughs> Is this your idea? Oh, it seemed like a good one at the time. Is it the mortgage? Have they pulled out? No. No, it's not the mortgage. It wasn't the problem that the solicitors. So, what does that leave you? Oh, you've had second thoughts, have you? No. No, not me. Louise? Yeah. Not just about this. Just finished with me. What? <laughs> Didn't see it coming. The day that everything was supposed to be falling into place, she... She just... broke it off. Gave no reason. Oh, Terry. Where'd you get that? Out the bin. Hmm. Put it back. Have you even read it? This is good. 
Marlon, have you got no ambition for your career at all? Yes, and it doesn't involve the word pub in any shape or form. Except that's where you are now, isn't it? I mean, how do you expect to get out of here if you just ignore every opportunity that comes to your doorstep? Opportunity? That's just a gimmick dreamt up by some PR company for cheap publicity. Why don't we just send the application in and see how you feel? OK. I'm not interested. Well, you're going to be stuck here forever then, aren't you? Busy. been gone longer than I thought. Do you work for me? Oh, just while Bob's doing something for Terry. I hope he's paying you. You better. <laughs> oh, Diane, we thought it was you. Welcome home. Hello. How are you feeling? Glad to be home. Right, you. Help us serve this lot and give me another half hour. You're not working already. It's the best thing for us. Yes, Eric. Ah, uh, a malt for me and a dry malt one for Valerie. I'll get the wine. Eric's in the chair, everybody. What would you like, Betty? Oh, well, I'll have a sweet sherry, Alan. Oh, my usual. Not there. Jane, thank you, Eric. Excellent. Not been the same without you, you know. Did you even notice I was gone? I wanted to be at the house when he arrived, but uh, Eric needed me elsewhere. Are you feeling better, though? Getting there. How did the little do for Terry go, then? Well, he was certainly surprised to mm -hmm. see us. Well, the poor love. Is there some talk between him and Louise? Why, well, what's happened? Let's hope your sale still goes through, Alan. Otherwise, you could be uh, looking for a new buyer. Well, I don't think we can write it off just yet. Betty? No, we, we were all ready with champagne and that. Then he walks in, white as a sheet, and tells us to leave him alone. Yeah. Oh, that'll be Louise. Is she in the back? Not seen her. Oh, you'll finish off for you, love. Hi. Oh, how are you? You look great. Oh, I'm so pleased to see you back. Thank you. Everything all right with you? I gather there was a bit of a surprise party for you and Terry. What? Only you didn't show up. Oh, God. What's happened? Well, I told Terry that I didn't want to buy the B&B &B with him and that I didn't see much future for us as a couple. I see. Because of Matthew? He's not the reason I finished with Terry. Is he not? Uh, you hadn't noticed anything was wrong? What's that, my off the ball? I mean, the B&B's been so much work. Dry rot, contracts. I just haven't put enough time aside for the... She wanted that place as much as you. That's what I thought. You know, it's, it's a big thing moving in with someone. Especially if you're going into business with them and all. Well, didn't know me and Viv anyway. But we talked it all through. I mean, we hardly talked about anything else. I had no idea what she was thinking. You know what I reckon? I think she's got last minute nerves. And I know she's had a few flings over the years, but the last bloke she actually moved in with was Ray. Yeah. Well, you, you just need to talk to her when she's calmed down a bit. A bit of a tip here, man to man. Back off. Make out that you don't think it's a good idea either. You'll have her eating out your hand. Did you not try that with any of your wives? Yeah, I managed to get shut of them though, didn't I? Most of them anyway. Well, she has been terrified of commitment. Exactly. Well, I thought I'd... I thought I'd got her over all that. Yeah, you have. Look at the timing though, Terry. You're right on the verge of signing the contract. She has a wobbly. You've just, you've got to reassure her. Make sure she knows everything's going to be all right. The B&B is going to be a success. You're going to live happily ever after. I've only been gone a fortnight. You work fast, I'll say that for you. Poor Terry can't know what's hit him. I do love him, Diane. But there's a bit of excitement to be had elsewhere. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him. But you do know you want to be with Matthew, a man you barely know at all. And you think you want him because you've been flirting for a few months over the bar. Well, it's gone a lot further than that. Remind me never to go away again. And Matthew, 
Do you think he feels the same way you do? Look, I did everything in my power to stop myself from falling for Matthew. It's the last thing I wanted. Look, I do love Terry, but Matthew's made me realise that he's never going to be enough for me. Don't you think it would have been crueler to go ahead with the B&B &B and then dump Terry somewhere else down the line? Thought you'd make me needing this. And you've let me down and all. Me? Why weren't you keeping an eye on her? I was. Well, you should have made damn sure she didn't do anything so foolish, shouldn't you? I asked her not to say anything. Which I didn't. You knew all along. Why didn't you say? Because it wasn't her place to get involved, Diane, and neither, quite frankly, is it yours. I just don't like to see people I care about making a big mistake. And what would you know about it? You don't know anything about Matthew King. I know enough about you. Look, all I want is what everybody else wants. The chance to be happy with a man I love. But he keeps changing every week. Oh, go to hell, Diane. I thought you'd be a big enough friend to understand, but I won't be making that mistake again. Dumped him. <gasps> I knew it. She gets through more men than I get through tea bags. Only because you squeeze them out and use them twice. <laughs> oh, poor Terry. All he wants to do is make someone happy. Yeah. Louise and Terry have split up. Really? Just as well this one's free. We'll never get any money together if I have to keep standing round for the entire wool pack. Hearts and minds, Eric. It's a small price to pay for the goodwill of our neighbours. We're going to be this village's biggest success story. I don't want them resenting us for it. We need £15,000 up front. We'll get all the fabrics, sale or return. They'll be fighting to supply us. I don't know. I need you involved, Eric. You've got class written all over you. We can pull this off together. Been involved in crazier enterprises. So we'll go ahead. Why not? You had better phone your bank manager. We're going to need a loan. Hmm. Any news on your brother? No change. I'm sure he's going to be fine. I wish the doctors had your confidence. And the way some of them look at me, I'll... I can tell they're expecting the worst. They're taking him off the ventilator tomorrow. Day after, they said. You must think he's making an improvement. I suppose you're right. It just hurts so much to see him like that. So young and fit and fighting for every breath. You're obviously very fond of him. I've been since we were kids. Would you excuse me? Kelly's sitting there? And she's putting on a great show. How do you mean? I just want to take her on face value. Her brother's in the hospital. She needs someone to talk to. Yeah, they're very close. <laughs> You're not kidding. Did she tell you just how close? Robert, Kelly and Scott used to sleep together. Just wanted you to know what you're letting yourself in for. Well, just pay for the three months, and if you finish early, I'll give you a discount. What? Well, I need to talk to you. Again? I'm working. Have we got a deal or what? Something's come up, Kearney. I'm going to have to ring you back. Five minutes? Sorry. It's all right. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just falling out with Diane. Over me. So it's all out, then? Yep. Now everyone's going to hate me. I did say we should have kept it to ourselves. Well, that's all right if you're having some sordid affair, but that's not what we're about, is it? Uh, we could have done it on our own terms, when we were ready. Anyone think you're ashamed of me? Don't be daft. I'm a private person. I'd just prefer to keep it between you and me for a bit longer. You'd have been happy sharing me forever, wouldn't you? How can you say that? I want you all to myself. I just reckon you're worth waiting for, that's all. Did you, did you have a word? Wouldn't listen. Oh, you know, he can be more stubborn than your mum when he wants to be. Well, it won't do him any good this time, though. Why not? Because this is too big a decision for him to make on his own. Yeah, but you heard what he said. Does it matter? Because I'm going to enter him myself. Oh, tell me, love, how are you? Fine. I know how you're feeling. Thanks. Look, if there's anything I can do... No, I'll uh, bear it in mind. Bob, Shira, 
Not seen her, mate. Terry, do you want a drink? No, I was just wondering if you'd seen Louise. We did have a chat. For what it's worth, I think she's made a big mistake. I really thought she'd grown out of all that. Oh, all what? Having her head turned by a flash suit and a platinum card. Oh, Terry, you're going to hear this from somebody. She's been seeing Matthew. You know, that wasn't the best idea you've ever had. He deserved to know. Wouldn't you want to? I just can't believe Louise after everything she's done to him. She didn't even have the guts to tell him herself. You said there was no one else. You said it was just about us. Oh, Terry. You've left me for Matthew. You told me there was no one else. It's not like that. Have you slept with him? Oh, God. Terry, I never meant to hurt you. I can't handle this. It just happened. I love you. That's obviously not enough for you. What's going on? It's all right, Matthew. No, it's flaming not all right. Look, Terry. It wasn't planned, it just happened. No hard feelings, all right? You stole oh, it from me! Terry, this isn't going to do anybody any good. Come on, love. Louise. Louise! 